So within this add-on, you've got over 200 brand new mobs that you can fight throughout your world. And there is a ton of really unique ones. And you might remember an add-on like this previously, which went by the name of Carnage. This is its sequel, which is Total Carnage. But not only do you have over 200 mobs, but you also got over 500 new blocks and over 800 new items. But however, some of these items are completely useless, but they may have a use later on, according to Code and Reagan. You do got things like armors, you got new weapons, tools, which is definitely pretty cool stuff. In my own opinion, this is definitely a pretty cool add-on with all sorts of really cool challenges that you have to face throughout your world now. From super tough bosses to just some really cool mobs, I think that you're going to have a good old time. And so for the time being, let's go over different mobs. This is our first mob, which is called the Gastric Sprout, which is essentially a living plant. Okay, it's kind of creepy that he's watching me. So once this mob attacks you, he's going to shoot you with poison spores. And once you take out the mob, He's gonna drop nothing. Then our next mob is the Grass Culper. Oh, what in the world? What in the world is it doing to me? No, get away from me. It's doing something to me. Now that is something I was not expecting. So this was the mob. So essentially, it looks like a chest. But the moment you get close to it, the whole ground starts to shake. And then it goes upwards. Oh, is that like a giant mouth? That's like a giant crusher. Okay, th that is pretty scary. But our next mob is the V-Hex. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? That is horrifying. It's like a giant orange. Oh my goodness, a giant orange is shooting stuff at me. That is just horrifying. It's like a giant orange with teeth. Okay, he has been taken out. That was just scary. But our next mob is called the Scorgian. Oh my goodness. He's like some kind of crazy bird. Oh, uh, he is terrifying. What in the world? What is he doing? Oh my goodness, he just ate me. Whoa. Now, I was not expecting that. But when you take him out, then they could drop some feathers. But they can also drop a foul, foul claw. Next up is the Dusty Paladin. Oh, wow. That, what in the world? He one shot me. Okay, that guy, he is going to be tough. I might have to put some armor for this. Oh, these keeps killing me. I now have a full set of netherite armor with protection 4. But I also put on strength 5. I do recommend trying to get some really good armor. But also some really good weapons. Because this guy, he is tough. We took him down. We did get something for our efforts. So we got some leggings. As you take on some of these mobs, if they are wearing a certain armor, then you may certainly get that armor piece. In this case, we got some gilded bulwark leggings. And they're pretty stylish as well. Now, I will be coming back and look at the weapons, armors, and blocks at a later date. I just won't have enough time to take a look at them today. So to make sure that you don't miss that video, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Now let's continue on with the video. Next up is the Fallen Summoner. Wow, now that is a cool looking dude. Wait, is he summoning monsters? Oh, this is a boss-like mob. Oh my goodness, where is he? Oh, he's right there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, I gotta get away from there. What is going on? Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Oh, where's the summoner? Where is the summoner? Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. There's so many mobs, I can barely find them. Oh my goodness. What is going on now? That is a lot of lightning. I have fallen in a hole. Where is the summoner? I gotta find the summoner. Is that a villager? That is a strange looking villager. He fell in the hole. Oh, great. Now he's annoyed. We have to take on the annoyed fallen summoner. Okay, that's creepy. That is creepy. No, you don't, you don't look at me like that. So let's move on to the gut gel. And this is what the gut gel looks like. So basically a slime with three eyeballs. That is very, very unsettling. And he can also come in medium and large, just like a slime. But when you take them out, then they can drop some rotten flesh, but also they can give you blood clots. Okay, that, that sounds strange coming out. Next up is the Orbiter. That is definitely a pretty cool looking mob. So the moment he sees you and he has a gem in the center, then he shoots a beam at you. This reminds me of a creature from Halo. From Halo 4, those things that shoot beams at you. But he is pretty cool looking as well. But it seems like when they're about to shoot the beam, that is when they're most vulnerable. Next up is Noir. And so he's basically just an eye. That is actually pretty cool. Does he have any specific abilities? All he does is punch you. I mean, I give him points for being cool, but he's definitely not very powerful. And next up is the Hermit. So this is a barrel that rolls around and has spikes. When you take him out, then you get sticks. Some of these mobs are going to be quite basic, but they are going to have some pretty cool abilities, but also boring drops. So try to keep that in mind. But next up is Karkaros, also known as Mako. So he's basically a clay golem, but he's also neutral as well. 
But the moment you attack this mob, that is when it's gonna get angry at you. When you take him out, then you will get yourself a shark tooth. But after taking out another one, we can also get sea salt daggers, a sand dollar, and sea salt chunks. Next up is the gorge. What in the world are you? You're like some fat dude. Oh, what is my mind doing today? I do not want to fight no fat dude today. Okay, you're just so fat that I can just destroy you with my sword right now. Ooh, we also got some goodies. Fat dude gave us some binge fluids and some Durastil nuggets. I'm not gonna fight no more fat people today. Our next mob is the Dune Rider, which is basically a skeleton with sand around him. And plus he floats around. And whenever he attacks you, then he can give you levitation, which is definitely not very nice at all. Then we have the Raven, which that thing is very, very disgusting looking. That is a very big dash. No, no, no dashing. What in the world? Ah! That thing is terrifying. No, 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 you don't do that to me. What in the world? Next up is the white lady. I can already see where this is going. Let me guess, is this the white lady from a horror movie? Yes, it definitely is. I really was expecting that one. No, you are not scary at all, but she is very loud. Next up is the severed. So you're basically a crawling zombie, but also you burn in daylight. Next up is the wood crab. That is a very big wooden crab. I like that sound it makes. It sounds like chopsticks. Next up is the canker. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're not scared. Ow, ow, ow. It's getting bigger. It bit my toes, but you're still adorable. Does it get any bigger? Oh, he's eating me. So when he attacks you, he makes baby ones. Get away from me. Get away from me. No, stop making babies. Stop making babies. So for our efforts, we got ourselves magenta canker shells. Next up is the lava cube. To be honest, this one's probably the most destructive one. If you're by your house, then he might catch your house on fire. And when you take him out, he splits just like a slime. So yeah, you gotta be careful around these guys. They will catch the ground on fire. Next is the jailbreaker. Oh my goodness, you are a big boy, but it's also very powerful as well. Oh, half hard. And you got Durastel ingots and Durastel nuggets. We have the Stone Warrior, which is basically a stone warrior with a sword. Oh, and when you take him out, he drops a bunch of silverfish and he gives you chiseled stone bricks. Then we have the Rupture Bug. Oh, you are disgusting. No, 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 you're disgusting. I don't like spiders. But once you take them out, then you can get some redstone scoots. Next up is Zelato. You look like you're made out of cheese. Or maybe melted gold. Ow, ow, he shot me with a spike. The next up is Whisper. This reminds me of the skulls from Doom. What in the world? Oh my gosh. You are terrifying. You are a terrifying sight. Look at that thing. Oh, what is he throwing at us? They're like evil Pac-Man. They're like an evil Pac-Man coming to get me. Yeah, this is definitely a mob I'm not going to be able to fight. Not even a bow is working on him. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have no idea how to fight this mob. Wait, did he cause that hole? Oh my goodness, he caused all, all the way down the bedrock. What are you? He's also spawning in these zombie creatures. So yeah, I'm going to have to do a good old slash kill command. So he gave us some flesh of true hunger. He gave us a pot of famine. Can we place down this pot? Oh, we can. And whenever you destroy it, then it's going to spawn in that poof of smoke. Oh, 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 come on. Seriously? Oh my god, I was not expecting that. So do not destroy that pot. That pot is what's keeping the evil at bay. So the creature is being trapped in this pot. Next up is the screamer. Oh, I know what you are. Oh, he's going to eat me. No, don't eat me. Oh, I thought he was going to eat me. I thought he was going to eat me. No, 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 shoot him. Stay back. Stay back. You stay back, you beast. Yeah, take that. Yeah, I gave you something to scream about, all right. And next up is the Jade Bruiser. So this mob is pretty quick, and he will run after you, and basically just punch you. And once you take him out, then he will drop some Jade, but also has a chance to drop a Jade Gauntlet. And these can be put on your offense slot. So if you wanted something inspired from Minecraft Story Mode, then you got it right here. This is definitely something I'm going to keep on my offhand. The next up is the undead chicken, which the name says it all. It's basically a zombie chicken. Then we have the tremor. Oh, you are a big, big creature. This reminds me of some kind of sci-fi horror film. What is he doing? He is roaring. Not very nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can see why it's called the trimmer. He is making the ground trimmer. That is crazy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. I can see why it has that name. But where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I can literally see him over the hill. Oh, we took him down. That was one crazy creature. Definitely my favorite so far. 
Next up is the Vanta Ray. Now this mob is basically a phantom, but it's going to be a little bit more annoying because after a few moments, it will give you the darkness effect, which this makes things a lot more annoying because it makes things very dark around the area. Next up is called the Searcher. What? what where'd he go? Oh, it's invisible. Then you have the Indactma. What in the world are you? You definitely look very interesting. So this mob is going to use its arms for like shielding and even punching. What? He can go underground? I was not expecting that. Okay, so we took him down and we got fossil pieces. And you can use those fossil pieces to make ancient bone meal. Which it does actually function, but not the way that you think. Next up is the Venomite. So the Venomite is basically an insect creature. And he's going to give you poison. So whenever you take out the Venomite, then he's going to go upside down and turn into a poof of smoke. But he also drops toxic spores. Next up is the Voldrum. So it looks like this guy is another adult insect. And he also drops Voldrum spikes. Next up is the Foul Rodent. Which I can only assume is going to look like a rat. And yep, it looks like a rat. That is a big rat with some scary looking eyes. My goodness, if rats were ever added to Minecraft, this would definitely be it. So at the outcome, we got rodent hide and gold nuggets. But I can only assume they might drop more things. Next up is the undead cow, which I can only assume, just like the chicken, this is a zombie cow. And yep, it is a zombie cow, right? What in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's just hilarious. Oh, I can't, I can't take it. I gotta take it out of misery. Oh my goodness, that was just hilarious. And you also got some raw beef, but it doesn't seem like you could eat it. I mean, you probably wouldn't want to eat it anyway. Our next mob is called the shell cut. So this creature looks like it's something from the end, made out of core fruit. He also has a stinger, so you gotta be careful about that one. So once you do take him out, then he will give you some coarse fruit. Then we have the Polar Tyrant. This is a cool looking mob. Is he gonna like attack us or anything? What's he doing? What is he doing? Oh my goodness, that's cold. Ugh, that's very cold. But you have been taken out. Oh, no, you have not been taken out. Oh, what in the world? What are you? You're like a frozen blaze of Okay, this guy just gotten a lot harder. And he has been taken out. So he dropped a polar jewel and some glacial ice. Next up is the Torrid Zeromancer. This reminds me of the skeleton guy from Minecraft Dungeons. That guy, he was very tough. But this is definitely a pretty cool boss fight. So we got scarabs, we've got husks, and we also got these pillars. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Get away from me. Oh my goodness. He's making us fly. Wait, he's healing. So these pillars are going to heal him up. That is not very good at all. But if you do manage to take out all the pillars and manage to defeat him, I can only assume that you might be able to get a staff if you are lucky enough. Our next mob is the Black Grime, which is basically a black slime that rolls around. And he also gives you the wither effect. That's not very nice. Oh, we did get the staff. So that is something that you did drop. I didn't know I could actually see that earlier. But once you do take out this grime, then you'll get yourself these black slime balls, which are called Ron slime balls. And then we have the tall mimic, which looks like a shulker box. He has the different color shulker boxes, but do they have an inventory? Oh, so when you try to open them up, then they just go all crazy. You look like a demogorgon with a shulker on your head. So after a few moments, you will go back to the normal state. Now if you do manage to take out one of them, then they can drop some valuable loot. So for that one that we took out, we got some diamonds and gold nuggets, some iron nuggets, and an enchanted golden apple. And you can also get gold ingots. But besides that, that's all the loot that you can get. Next mob is the Tashar. And this is what it looks like. So basically, it's a cactus-like creature. And different ones have different colored flowers, which is definitely pretty cool. And once you take them out, depending on the color flower on top of their head, they will drop different petals. But I believe that if you get enough of these spiky petals, then you can get a certain colored block. Our next mob is the Solarid. So I can only assume it has something to do with the sun. Wow, that is actually a cool mob. Oh my goodness, it just shot down the sun at me. But that looks really cool. I give Conan points for this one. That is just honestly a really cool design for a mob. And then we have the Grave Ripper. Oh, I can tell that this is going to be a terrifying mob. So this is basically a beefed up wither skeleton with a very scary looking sword. And then we have the Dynamo. So basically Electro from Spider-Man, but added into Minecraft. This is definitely a pretty cool design for a mob though. Next up is the Undead Pig. But this thing is running just like the cow was. Oh my goodness, I can't take it, I can't look at him. It's just so hilarious the way he runs. We also have the Undead Livestock. This is a sheep 
Which the next mob we're gonna look at is called the Dulahan. And this is what it looks like. So this guy is like a this horseman. Oh, whoa. Well, there's the horseman. But we're gonna move on to the Terra Terror. So basically, a creature made out of stone and he also pokes you with spikes. He also jumps in the air and clobbers you. We got calcite, we got one made out of dirt, and we got diorite right again, and then that's the end of sight. So you can get different types. But they're not gonna give you anything interesting. Just a boring old stone. And next up is the torture. This is what he looks like. So basically a big wooden golem, but also covered with fire. And if he hits you, he catches you on fire. Next up is the shroom bit. Oh my goodness, you are one terrifying creature. You're like a killer mushroom. Oh, I'm also feeling very nauseous. It's a bite you took out of me. Don't bite me. Oh, I don't feel good. But we did get a new mushroom out of the deal. We got the Lumigi, or however you pronounce that. Can we place it down? Oh, we can place it down. And next up is the undead coral. So it's basically like a zombie but covered in coral. Now that is actually pretty cool. And he has all the different colors of coral in the game. Now once you do take him out, then they will end up dropping the dead coral blocks or just regular dead coral. Oh, so they're called lumps. You can actually eat the dead coral. Why would you want to eat the dead coral? I have no clue. And plus it gives you weakness too for about 15 seconds. So please do not eat this stuff. Next up is the Spectre cast. So you're some kind of illager and you're casting a spell. Oh, it needs attacking me. What in the world? So when you attack this mob, it just spawns in more of them. It just duplicates himself. That is not right. Did I take them all out? Was there ever a real one? And our final mob today is called the Torch Giant. Now this is a big, big creature. So make sure you bring some really good weapons with you so the way you can take him out. Oh, he's doing a sonic shriek. That is definitely quite loud in my ears. But believe it or not, that's actually it for the first 54 mobs that we have within Total Carnage. If you guys want to see a part 2 to this, then make sure that you leave a like on today's video. We still have a lot more mobs to go through. And to make sure that you don't miss that video, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. But for now, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.